Hello fellow crafters, today I wanted to share with you guys an amazing swap. The unveiling of what Leslie Hernandez sent me in our swap. She sent it in purple tissue paper. Tissue paper. And a beautiful box wrapped in purple paper. I don't have that because I put it somewhere in the car and I left it in the car. But I wanted to show you all these goodies that she sent to me. Now, um, and I know that you guys are curious. I opened the box and I saved the flip book to the end and I went through everything. She sent me these bottles which are perfect for spritzing some ink on your pages to make some watercolor and I'm hoping to do that. She sent me this adorable little box. I kind of pulled it a little too hard and I pulled the little top out. But when you open this little box, there's of course no fun things in there, but you keep on opening it and you get yourself, sorry about the glare, a little flower that says, hello. And then inside I get all these amazing little gems. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. These little guys, I love them. I know, I'm sorry. It's the mirrored little edges that are probably going to bug you. I'm going to see if I can turn them around. But hopefully you guys can see that. It is amazing. On all these little dots. Ah! Purple ones, pink ones. Oh, pearl dots. Amazing. I'm going to see what I can do with those. Leslie, if you have any suggestions or anything like um, ideas of what I can do with them, let me know. Also, she sent me, I don't know how you know, I love camping, this little pad that has all these little pages um, for camping, or I can even make like a little recipe book with this for uh, camping or just in general, you know, camping adventures. Oh, this one is gorgeous. I love this one. That little pad. I'm going to save this one for last. Also, then she sent me a whole bunch of these tags. These are thick. I don't know if you can see that, but they're very thick um, cardstock or chipboard. Very thick. They have mermaids, unicorns, and fairies. Love this. I'm going to put this to use in the book that I made I start I made for my granddaughter which was unicorns and mermaids uh, for her third birthday and I started that I haven't finished it this is gonna be part of it and look at this guys I love cats I have cats and I love Christmas two of my loves are right here I love Christmas we're cats and Christmas purpose I will be bringing these Christmas Eve and Christmas morning did that over here and she assumes cute um shake like a little hard i am hanging on um, these it's also like ah, well head for me hanging. my kids not like is that is that a hood it, no it, in purple it's for me it has a it has a heart so it's and lots of the most adorable friend sequences yes flowers it says i love sleep the back of friend oh my gosh i know this so cooking great it is beautiful. It's a little blurry purple. I love that of it. Beautiful. And then she said, beautiful ornament. But look, I never thought of doing that. I mean, I thought it. Sorry. I never thought of doing this with these ornaments. My kid has been playing with them. But this is a half of an ornament. If you guys can see that. Now, those little uh, ones that um, Deanna was showing us in her video. Now, I'll link the, her videos down below. Uh, she was teaching us how to do these. Not sure what they're called. I forgot. Uh, and this is one way you can actually use these. This is one uh, die I do not have. I probably can get it done with the Cricut, but I don't have this die. Um, and this half ornament. Putting it together with a sequence in there and a little saying inside a little image inside a little bit of rope which is adorable i love it so there's some ideas for you guys for doing it yourselfers for ornaments for this christmas that's coming so 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 soon there's an idea then she sent me some stamps and die cut 
in the stamps. Sorry about the glare, guys. Um, this one is Happy Birthday. Let me see if I can tilt it two ways that it does not like. But there's that. This one is more of like a tropical feel to me. Your pineapples, your watermelon, your lemon. Oh, this is going to come in so handy, Leslie. Thank you so much uh, for the book that I am making. I'm also making a lemon festival book with my granddaughter who went for the first time. And there's your little die cut. Perfect. Okay, put those to good use. Lots of washi for Christmas. And I told her I love Christmas and she sent me more love for Christmas. Look at that. There is two, four, six, eight, I believe, eight washi tapes. You didn't have to do it, but you sent me a full package. Thank you. Then to do more crafts and to be inspired for more crafts, she sent me these thick, sticky um, dots to raise um, and make uh, 3D looking effects. Raised, you know, you, you, you kill. crafters know what I'm talking about. She also sent me this. It's a needle point of a rooster, and I love farm a house. That would go great in my kitchen. Thank you. Now, this, I thought it was a CD case. I did not know that they existed, these boxes. It is not a CD case. It is a box from, let me see, Stampin' Up. And look at what she did. She has a little envelope with magnetic closure. Uh, calendar for next year because we all need to know what's going on a purple pin oh my gosh <laughs> I am so happy and then a notepad who does not need a notepad now this is a perfect gift idea for Christmas doesn't have to be Christmas themed to be a Christmas gift because if you make these now I'm pretty sure there's an alternative to these. I looked at the prices and they're pretty expensive, just the box. Uh, but you can personalize it. Make inside. You personalize it. So it's cover. These are just easy. First, have a can flip into your every and you have a rifle pad your with you and you get when you need air yourself and another change it up little. If you do it your you can do. It. This is a for gifting craft great idea for yourself now Christmas the peace resistant this guy now everything is huge this is I'm gonna move it because this this huge let me see if I can see everything on this out breaking now stack it side with us if you're watching now mine is on side mine is left left in this the other opening or of you'll see it left understand when you see it. this one has your magnetic also closure. This is an adorable close off with this is adorable. This is an start let's see an a little tree tilt with the tiniest little close pin. Tiny the tilt. See that guys. See my gosh, look at that. How cute it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope you can. I don't know. I hope and I just broke it. Oh my gosh. I'll fix it. My, I was so excited when I found it. I, it. Okay. Okay, this goes up here. I'll fix it. I will fix it. Promise. Thank you, Leslie. I will stop touching the things because I usually kill them or burn them or uh, I break them. Now, like I said, it's not just one. Here's this one. Stockings. Your little ornaments hanging from the side. They're supposed to be this way, but I tilted them to the wrong side. There you are, little ornaments. Hanging. Your little Christmas scene. You guys see that? Amazing. And then she stuffed. 
the envelope. She put this adorable little sign. It is adorable. She put some more stickers in here. And I'm going to use these for my December daily for this year. Amazing. Um, then we move over another one. This one here, let's see, you can see it has another paper clip, it has more stickers, and it has another page, a full of these little gems, these little jewels. And I'm pretty sure there's tons of ideas on bowbunny.com to what I could do with this. This is perfect, I love the blues. And I have been working on some journals and some junk journals and stuff, and books. I'm gonna call them little books that are of, of different themes. You have your mason jar with the glittering glitter there. And then the last two pages are also chock full of items. You got more paper clips that I can use on my December daily, which I think I'm going to stick this in my December daily. I think I'm going to make this into like a uh, traveler's notebook style where I can put it in with the... Um, rubber band uh, or the band close it this way like that I guess I don't know I haven't figured it out but I am pretty sure I will figure it out more little cuties everywhere I think this one belongs in the front so I'm not gonna spoil it but she made this little guy this little December day, uh, 25th, don't open till. These puffy stickers, and then she stuffed the envelope with more stickers. Sorry for the glare, guys. Super excited about using all of these on my December daily. And then some holly uh, to stick on the edges of the pictures, or I can put them, like when you have your picture, four by six you can put them on the corners of the pictures and make it like almost the corner border of your pictures great ideas put that back in there ah okay i'm not gonna try then the last page is going to be pretty sure you can see this one here this one has um more has a gingerbread man and I believe the gingerbread lady came here too. She came to be with him. So this is me. That is me. And that is my hubby. That is so cute. <laughs> it says uh, December 25th. It's a little laminated sticker and green. Beautiful greens. So I, I'm going to find ways to use these in the Christmas or December daily so I can go ahead and utilize everything. And then I'll be sticking little, sticking little notes in here of everything that I'm doing. This is the other side. This is the front side. Ignore those noises. Those are all noises coming from my stack of stuff that I got. And they're all kind of falling onto the bed. There's another little uh, clip, paper clip with piece. There is some more little cutouts your little mittens totally adorable little skates oh we want to try to do that again this year go skating and a snow globe who does not love a snow globe i love it and look at the back clear so you can write notes and this is a pretty sweater unless it's supposed to be an ugly sweater but i love this sweater it's gorgeous love the colors so i'm going to be using that probably Take a picture of my husband and then just the the sweater will be on him and then his head up here that's a good idea so that is this page and then you close it up and there's more on this side there is more because she could not stop at a few no she could not thank you so much there is more paper clips here hope you guys can see them I'm trying to get them into the light but there's a lot of glare. Okay. 
There are little pockets everywhere. I didn't mention that there is tons of pockets and sticking places everywhere. Little tree, joy. peace, joy, and let it snow. Here at least, let it rain. I need rain. We were 88 and 89 these last couple of days. Today is Tuesday, so Monday and Sunday we had heat. Saturday, I think, was the highest at 89 degrees to 90 degrees. So that was the hottest day this weekend. I am boiling. I am so ready for the cold days that they're promising us. At least the weather channels are. Guys, I am so impressed. Thank Leslie, thank you so much. I know I keep on saying this. Thank you, and I keep on saying, oh my gosh, how adorable is all this. But I really appreciate you of everything that have sent me. This is too much. The day back. Joyful uh, memories. And these are here, made in the cheer. Gorgeous. In the back, alone. leave it alone. Tuck into sides, leave them alone. It's just the two spots I'm going to utilize to my fullest. All this stuff, I feel like I have a lot of home by to do. I feel like I am inspired to continue doing my art in my daily and um, fit December daily. I am inspired to publish so many and I love my guys that I have started. Well next time.